I got over a million views on my YouTube channel by just uploading videos that I had recorded with my phone. So I would say that I am proof, yes you can, do great YouTube videos just using your phone. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get you to change a couple of settings on your actual phone. Then I'm going to show you some equipment that can make it easier to make your videos look good. Plus we'll go over some other types of settings that will really make your videos stand out and not really look like you're just using your phone. Why is my thing going wonky? My ring light's wonky. Maybe I'll just do it like this. Then we're going to pop over back to my phone and I'm going to show you a couple of really easy editing apps that will help you edit your videos for YouTube. Okay, so here we are on my phone and you want to go to settings and scroll down until you can find camera. Click on that. Now what I would like to do is see where it says record video. Now you can record it higher at 4K but this is going to take up a whole lot of room on your phone and from what I've discovered is that yes I would love to have 4k oh my daisy <laughs> and I do record in 4k on my camera on my phone I'm just not going to do that let's go back to camera another little thing I like to have on is the grid which you can see just there so I've got that clicked on and I'll just show you what that looks like when you're recording screen that you're putting into the editing process then you know move to the side but this is a really great way to see if you're in the middle or where you are situated in the frame of your video okay as you can see here on my desk i've got a couple of little stands that i want to show you which are quite cool to record your videos on so let's go have a look at those i wanted to show you a couple of different things that you can use this is what i was using before this is actually my ring light. Now, <laughs> see, it's a bit wonky today. I don't know what's going on with the stand. So that is a tall ring light, but that was almost about $300. It's a good investment if you're wanting to do a lot of videos. This one's called a Luvo ring light. The reason I got it is because it had all these dimmers and stuff on it. So obviously when that's on, that's up. Standing when you're doing your videos is quite a good thing to do as well. I actually learned that in radio. So when I used to read the news, I would read standing up because you kind of get more air through your lungs, you get more energy in your voice and things like that. Okay, let's go have a look at some of these stands. So I would suggest getting some sort of stand. This was my little prize find. Pretty sure this was like $12 from Kmart. <laughs> That's a ring light. You can just sit your phone on the top there, which I know in the other ring light, you sort of sit your phone or camera in the middle of it, which I sort of prefer, but hey, for $12, Seriously, like how good is that? So what I've done is just added my phone there and then I can switch this light. Oh, just to remember that is Kmart in Australia, which is a little bit different to Kmart in the US, if you wanted to know. So there's another one. I think I'm pretty sure I got that also from Kmart, um, but I actually really like this little one. Super, super cute. Kmart one as well, Kmart special. And you know, I actually put this on this stand so that when I'm sitting down, it is my face height. And again, I got this from the kitchen uh, shelving section in, guess where, Kmart. Alrighty, so now I'm recording on my camera in one of the stands that I told you. And I just wanna also talk about which way or which camera to use on your phone to actually record. Now this is my old spare phone, just to show you an example because I'm recording with the phone. <laughs> the quality of the recording on the back phone is actually better than the front facing phone. And if you know this already, you might be thinking, oh, Tracy, I guess you're probably just gonna recommend that we use this camera to record on our phones. Now, if you're watching this a little bit down the track, they've probably come out with better 
front-facing camera recording. But for now, the technology at the moment is that this camera recording is not as good as this one. Now, if you were going to record this way, you would still want to see yourself. And so maybe you would put a mirror behind here so you could see yourself. So you can do that if you want 4K quality. But I would say for this, depending on what kinds of videos that you're making, I would suggest just putting your phone this way and recording so that you can still see yourself on the screen. Otherwise, you're gonna freak out, especially if you're not the type of person who's done a lot of filming on camera before. I've worked in TV and I've done a whole lot of YouTube videos and I still like having a screen so I can kind of see what is happening on the screen. Okay. So now I want to talk to you a little bit about video backgrounds. You know, when I was sitting over here before, uh, having a nice kind of office background or even a blank wall is fine. So I can totally do videos here, just a plain-ish kind of background. You know, going outside in nature is really nice. Let's go for a little walk, okay. Going outside is great too. It's such a pretty background. And often when you stand under just a little bit of shade, you'll get a really beautiful light. So don't stand out in the direct sunlight. Let me show you what happens. So it just looks, that looks terrible. <laughs> but I'm just using a selfie stick right now. Whereas here is much better. Now I guess you can see some lights that are coming through the trees on my hair, but like no one's really gonna care. As long as people can see your face, your eyes and your expression, that's where people are really gonna connect with you. Now I wanna ask you honestly, if I'm doing a video like this, can you really tell whether I'm doing it on my phone or using a fancy camera? Yes, someone who's into cameras definitely would be able to tell. But the thing is, I'm not doing videos for a niche that is requiring cinematic video. So why would I spend the money all the time or, or learning all the technology to do that kind of stuff if I could just use what's in my pocket? My phone. Let's go back inside. Okay, so as you can see at the moment, I've got some cube shelves. These are from Ikea, set up behind my desk and I've kind of styled them as I like. Oh, hello there. I styled them also with a puppy dog. Do you want to be in a video? <laughs> right now, I'm actually using a backdrop. So this is a fabric canvas backdrop. I'll show you. It's set up like this. So it's hanging on a rod stand there. And you know, this is a really great way to have your videos have continuity is to have always the same sort of background, which is then your branding. Now I've swapped it to a different one, which I got made up. This one was done by my friend, Emma, who does bespoke backdrops, which I absolutely love this one as well. I'm just not using this one at the moment because I'm pretty sure one of my kids put some hands on it and so it's a little bit dirty <laughs> and one of the other things that i like to have to make my videos look uniform which again means that it really doesn't matter whether you are recording a video with a phone or with a fancier camera is to have an intro or an outro to your video now keep these short sharp and super sweet i've got a couple here to show you some examples and as you can see they can be really really easy you can make one on canva i actually do have a canva tutorial on how to make an intro so i'll link that video uh, around here have a click on those if you're interested in making your own intro now one more thing we have to do is how to actually edit your videos on your phone so i've got a couple of apps that you can use let's go do those here we are on my phone and let's go to the simple app for iphone which is imovie so when we're in imovie we're able to add a project so just click the plus sign click movie and then choose the video that you want. So if you come up with all your photos and videos, I usually go to media and then just click videos that I want and I'll click all. This is the video that I want, click that. And you can play it just to check that's the one that you want. Yes. And then go down the bottom and se select create movie. And for some reason that has not brought in the video that I wanted but that's okay just gonna click plus here video oh this one and there we add it manually I'm not sure why I did that but that's okay I'm gonna add another piece of footage as well but let's just play this so basically what we want to do is cut down the mistakes or what we call like dead air sort of stuff that we don't need so I don't think I start talking in this until, 
So what you can do is just move your thumb across like this. I don't think I start talking till about there. So you can see my mouth moving and I start there. So I'm just going to tap on it. And then down here it will say split. So I'm going to click on that. And if I then tap on the first bit, which I don't need anymore, I can just delete it. Okay. Okay, right now I'm actually using a backdrop. So this... So that's my video. And I'll go along and I would just listen to it. I'll show you. Let's walk around and show you there. But I kind of want to cut this bit out so I go, so I show you. Canvas backdrop, I'll show you. So I'm going to pause it right there. Click on it. Split the clip. And then... I think I start about, actually I don't want the end of this video, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to add another piece on, so click this plus sign here. Again, you can go look up a full tutorial on iMovie, but I'm just showing you quickly. And I want, this is the next bit that I want, so click on that one. So I've added that in, and you can press this back with a stop there. Just go back to the start of this one. This backdrop I'll show you is set up like this so it's hanging on a rod stand. See how there's a gap there so I'm just going to cut that gap out. On, on. Split that. And I can actually drag it across as well. On a rod stand there. And, you know, this is a really great way to have your videos have continuity, is to have always the same sort of background, which is then your branding. You can get fancier backgrounds. I'm just going to end it there, your branding. You can get fancier backgrounds, oh, is then your branding. I'll stop there. So I can either split and then get rid of it. Oh, I accidentally duplicated that, so I'll delete that, and then I'll delete that. Okay, so that's pretty much my whole video for this example. Um, but what I'd like to do is just add a little bit of branding. So I'm going to highlight the clip, and then down here in the bottom, you've got some little things that you can add. So you can add music, but let's add uh, my title. So let's add some branding. I think I would like, let's see, let's just put a standard one in, but down here it says either centre or lower, and I want the title to be lower, so I want this down here, you can see that, so I'm going to click on that one, but I don't want the top bit, I just want the bottom one, let's put in my name. done so now when you watch the video okay right now I'm actually using a back so you can see it's got my branding there but it will only be on this clip so I have to actually put it on this one as well okay now see how we've got a little transition there? Backdrop, I'll show you. Set up. Now I could change the transition to maybe a sliding one. Let's see what that looks like. Canvas backdrop, I'll show you. Set up like this. I could do that. Or I could fade it. I'll show you. But I don't want that to go to black, so I don't really like that. I would just keep it as dissolve. All right. Canvas backdrop, I'll show you. Then the other thing that I would like to have is some music. So I'm back at the start of the video. I want to click the plus sign. And we're going to go back to all of these things. Back. And I want to add audio. And they actually have some soundtracks that you can use. So many better ones than what it was when it first came out. Let's just listen to them. OK, 
Okay, I like that. I'll just plus that in. And what I'm going to do is click on that as well. And I'm just going to click on the volume because I obviously don't want it overpowering my voice. Play that. Okay, right now I'm actually using a backdrop. So this is a fabric canvas backdrop. I'll show you. It's set up like this, so it's hanging on a rod stand there. Okay, great. That sounds good with some music. I'm actually going to add something on the end. Go back to all the moments here. And I'm actually going to grab a photo. Now, I took a photo the other day of just a black screen, so I'm going to add that. And I will probably just put my branding on there as well. So put some text. Those out. Done. Okay. Is then your brand. Done. So that was quite easy. Click done. You can name your movie and then what I'll do is I will export that to my videos. You can actually export straight to YouTube or I'm just going to save the video to my phone and I'm going to save it as high definition as I can so I want to keep it as 4k which will take up more space on your computer but I'd rather have a higher quality video. Another one that I like to use sometimes is InShot. So let's open that. Video, new. I'm not going to do all the editing, so let's just add this one that we have. I'll show a couple of other things in this. So this one you can do lots of different sizes. So if you go to down here, the canvas, you will see there's different kinds of canvases. So this is a YouTube shape okay uh, this one is for mostly instagram TikTok size but we're going to go like i said with the youtube one this one you can cut and edit pre-cut split just like in imovie as well you can add stickers on there you can add even like gifs you can change the volume you can add music you can actually probably do lots more on InShot. I just find the cut and editing section on iMovie a little bit easier. And same with the iMovie, you then export it, save it. I think this only does a resolution. Oh, we can do 4K. Okay, we're going to do that. Yay. I don't think I've ever saved as 4K on InShot. So then the next thing you need to do is just upload to YouTube. If you need some help with YouTube SEO, because that's really, really important, I will link a video right here if you want to go and learn how to do that. It's actually not as hard as you think. But also I've got a couple of videos which will really help you if you're getting started in YouTube because there's a lot of mistakes that I made in the beginning and I'd love for you to learn from those mistakes so that you can get on with having a successful YouTube channel that brings you leads and clients and subscribers to your channel. See you in the next video.